Sup? <laughs> yeah, that's my intro. Hey guys, welcome back. Another video. Um, currently, I'm using one of my old accounts. My main account is actually suffering from a glitch at this current time. I might have used one of my old accounts before. This is on server 312. Shout out to my war family on, on server 312. Um, today we'll be covering the Memento packs that they just released. Um, at the end of every uh, celebration pack, we just we just passed one of those celebration packs ended. Um, they released the Memento packs. Um, they last until the next promotion packs, which normally comes out Friday, Saturday the latest. Um, so, and in between that time, you're able to purchase the Memento packs, which you can redeem the Mementos for one of the three generals they have there, typically the third general, of course, for the for the most mementos, which is 120, is the general that's that's featured in that pack that you people will be aiming for. But we will go over the first two generals to see if they're worth picking up. Um, as a conversation on the mementos, you, you typically only want to buy the gem packs, which is um, for $5 and $10. So the $5 one starts off with uh, 30K gems. Um, so you want to typically only buy that one. Um, there's three different three or four different packs i know they got the gym packs they have the uh speed up packs they have the um uh resource pack and they have the general pack so there's four different packs each each only get the five dollars and ten dollars you can go higher before but they eliminated that process unless um they, they they they've done it again i normally will only get the gym packs um each day of of the, the availability to be able to purchase those are the only ones really worth anything. The the the, the speed ups is three hundred sixty hours worth of speed ups is nothing. You know, what I mean, I believe the other one is six uh six or seven twenty, I believe, for the ten dollar one. Seven hundred and twenty hours is really nothing. Um but the the thirty K gems and sixty K gems is worth the investment. So you, I would normally do just those and add it up per each day and save my mementos unless you want to you want to get that third general right now and you have the funds you want to buy all of the packs just for the mementos to add up um but like as i said if you're just stacking mementos since they carry on each week like they, they're not it, it's not like if you don't utilize them you will lose them they stack so you whatever you purchase now you keep until you're ready to use them Maybe on the next one when they're offering better generals or the one after that when they're offering better generals, then you can use it or you just can't afford to be able to buy all the mementos you need at this time. Um, but you you know over a long period of time, you will eventually be able to get it and you can save them. And then when you see a general that you prefer or like, you can go ahead and um, purchase that general. So um, the three generals they have is uh, Tokugawa Ayasu, uh, Suleiman the, the Magnificent, and Toyuma you told me Heidi Yoshi so uh, the two the the first one is a Japanese general um, Ayasu um, is a subordinate city general um, you're not gonna really want to waste your time picking up a subordinate city general unless you need one this one in particular is a he increases gold the the, the uh, speed 75% of supporting the city production for the gold so, you know, he, other than that, he's really pretty much useless. You're not going to use him for anything else. The second one is Suleiman the Magnificent, an Arabian general. He really isn't a bad general. He isn't a sought after general. Like you were in go for look so i want suleiman the magnificent there are a lot better generals in here and it's not someone you would want to waste your mementos on but if you were one of those people who have been it's been like six months eight months you amassed at 60 mementos because you don't really purchase the mementos like that and you know you, you know you're not going to be waiting for the 120 he isn't a bad general to be the second one on this list i've seen a lot of these memento lists and he's probably one of the best ones i've seen in the second spot you know I mean, you, 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 you'll see Empress Wu or someone here normally in the second spot. So, so Layman, it, it really isn't a, a bad general for this spot, you know, for the 60, the 60 mementos. He increases range troops and siege machines attack by 15%. And what makes him good is he reduces enemy troop defense by 10%. So when it says enemy troops, this means all of the troops. All of the troops get their, their defenses reduced by 10%, which is a very good debuff. Um, I do have a question because of the wording here. Typically, debuffs are put before the buffs. So, and I haven't had a chance to utilize Suleiman to know if his buff, I mean, if his debuff 
will be available inside the support in the city if someone has uh, please mention it to me in the comments if the debuff still applies or does not apply inside the support in the city but typically debuffs do apply in the support in the city but because it is wording i have some doubt as to whether or not his debuff will actually apply uh, so the third the third general is another japanese general Hideyoshi. Hideyoshi is a rally spot officer, and most of the time, I would I would recommend that if it's a duty officer general and you have the opportunity to obtain him, to get him, all of them. You're gonna need him. Yeah. You know, so far, from what I've seen, there isn't any duty office spot that has more than one general that can go there. I could be wrong about that. I'll have to look more into that, but I can't recall anyone at this moment that 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 can that you, more than one. There's more than one duty officer that can go there. So this is probably the only one. I'm pretty sure he's the only one that is for the Raleigh spot. But the reason I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my money on um, Hideyoshi is because the Raleigh spot doesn't open up until K35, Keep 35. It doesn't open up until Keep 35. And that's going to be a very long time for most players. So unless you're one of those players that uh, that spent a lot of money and you're already at, at Keep 35 and, and you don't have him, then... You, it's not really worth the, the, the money to go ahead and, um, and pick up this general at this time. You can run a pass and just save your momentum for the next time. If, you're, if you are thinking about just stack, getting the momentum because you, you, know what I mean, you have the money and you was going to get this general, don't waste it. Still get the mementos. I would recommend only buying the gems just to collect the mementos so for later on, for the next time that this occurs, which will be about two weeks from now. So um, that's my view on these on these officers. This is my opinion, um, but I do want to say that in general, that uh, Hideyoshi is a very good general. For he's a rally spot officer. He give all troops five percent health power plus a five percent march size increase. You know, but all the duty spot officers are very good. So um, I believe hospital may have more than one, but um, all the duty spots officers are really good. It's just that for this one in particular, the rally spot needs to be a K35, keep 35, in order to get it up the rally spot 235 and, and be able to utilize this general. So it's not really worth the investment unless you're already that far into the game. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys like the video. Um, if you haven't already, you know, I was checking my numbers. I have 18% um, of my viewers subscribed to the channel. Uh, another... Um, 81% they view the channel I get good views okay views for only doing this for for a couple of months um, but 81% of my viewers don't subscribe come on guys subscribe to the channel have a great day